Hello everyone. I've been wanting to uh, build one of these for a while. A air compressor powered by a refrigerator compressor. And I finally have accumulated the parts from uh, an old refrigerator that I've had and a couple old compressors. So um, I'm going to build one. I'll show you guys how I did it. Uh, the first thing I did was uh, I took uh, one of my old air compressor tanks. The motors still work but the uh, the compressor part are bad and I can't get any parts for them so I'll save this motor for another project. So I take that off the tank. Uh, this particular tank has a nice platform that will allow me uh, space to bolt the compressor on. Now this is an old uh, little refrigerator that I've had. I haven't seen uh, anyone else use the small compressor from this so I'm not sure how it's going to work. Uh, but it's one I have, it's free, I, um, it's leaked out all it's free on, and, um, but, the, but the motor still runs. So I uh, go ahead and cut that out of the back of the refrigerator. And it comes out pretty easily. Now with that platform that's on the um, old tank here, it gives me a place to mount to mount the, the refrigerator compressor. So I'm just laying it out now trying to figure out uh, the best way to do it. I'm going to end up making a couple of supports for the front. I can bolt in the back. The first thing I do is after, after I get everything out is I'm going to wire it into the uh, original switch here, the uh, safety switch, pressure uh, switch on the old tank and see if this thing fires up. So um, after I wire it in, it's, it's very simple. This is a 110 uh, power supply and so I just wire it in to two wires that uh, that come off of the compressor into the two wires that came off of the uh, the old air compressor from the switch. It runs. I find out which tube is the suction tube and which tube is the uh, pressure tube and uh, I mark those. Uh, right now I'm marking the holes to bolt the compressor down. and I go ahead and drill those holes and get them ready. Now I'm making sure and you would you would want to make sure this too that you leave all the safety equipment on these uh, uh, these compressors will just keep going and going they, they, they're very powerful and so um, you do need to leave on the safety uh, there's a safety right in front here, there's a safety valve, relief valve, and that's if anything overpressurizes, that pops. And then also the, the switch is a pressure switch, and that can be adjusted. It's Right now it's adjusted at about 110 PSI, and that shuts the motor off when it reaches that, that pressure. Uh, you do not want to run these things without some kind of uh, these safety features. I make a little metal bracket for the front to hold the front up off the, uh, the platform. And now it's time to hook this up, the, hook the uh, refrigerator compressor up to the tank. I'm going to end up using two tanks and um, I'll show you later how I, how I mount that. This is the main input for the tank and I just, these, these uh, compression fittings you can get at Home Depot or any Ferretria hardware store. Um, all the tubes that come off the compressor are um, copper and so it's pretty easy to, uh, to hook everything up. Now what I do is there off the pressure switch there's a connection and so I put a T-fitting there that, that goes from the tank to that and then from that to the top tank 
and the top tank has a T on it, and then that runs to the compressor, the refrigerator compressor. So it's all just connected into a, in a loop. And this is how I attach the top tank. And my idea with the with using the two tanks is that I'm sure this compressor is pretty slow as far as being able to keep up with, with painting and, and using it. So I'm going to use the two tanks to, to store a lot of volume of air. Now I am always building things even though I don't post them on YouTube and this is one of the things I've built uh, for a friend. Uh, shelves for a wall. Uh, they, they're going to put books on it. But anyway, I figured this would be a good test to see what the rate was. It has no problem with the the pressure. The pressure does reach uh, 100 psi. It just takes forever to do it. It is a small compressor. It takes a long time, uh, but it does give me enough power to, for example, uh, put a coat of varnish on this, um, but not much else. So this isn't going to work for most people. Most people, uh, this is going to be way too slow and not have enough volume to really do any real meaningful work. But there are some advantages to it. If you lived in an apartment, um, it's silent. I mean, it really is quiet. Uh, and if you were just using an airbrush, for example, uh, it would be great for, for using an airbrush or something like that small. Um, and again, if you were worried about noise. So right now it works for me. I will probably end up having to get a, a larger compressor for bigger jobs. But uh, I am able to use this, for example, at night when I come home from work without worrying about uh, disturbing the neighbors. Uh, so I don't. It, it works out okay. Okay. Like I said, it won't be for everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you a timer here showing um, how long it takes. It takes about an hour to get 100 psi. So I mean, it is incredibly slow. It takes about three minutes to empty the tanks. But again, there's a place for it, not for everyone, uh, but uh, at least you can give it a try if you, if you have these parts laying around. If you wanted to make it faster, you could get a couple of extra compressors maybe, uh, add two uh, larger refrigerator compressors, and that would, that would I'm sure, uh, help a lot, or a larger tank also. So, I mean, there's a couple of configurations you could do that would that would be useful. The, the main purpose would be uh, the silence. The silence is, uh, is, is a really good feature. So, But I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, something I threw together actually a couple of months ago and I have been using it and it, it does the job. So. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave them. And as always, thanks for watching.